making a steam inlet fitting in the workshop. A simple way to make a steam inlet fitting for any model steam engine by machining a flange to accept a modified commercial T-piece and fitting the assembly to the steam chest. But first of all, a happy new year to all my viewers. Some clips in this video are taken from my series How to Build a Model Steam Engine, which is for my Patreon supporters only. This is a comprehensive series showing step-by-step -step instructions on how to build a Stuart Models Victoria Mill engine, which includes some interesting modifications. The first thing you need to make this part is a commercial T-piece. These are made by my friend Chris English of CM Engineering, not to be confused with cm-engineering.co.uk. These are available by mail order from Blackgates Engineering, or over the counter if you're nearby. And like all of Chris's fittings, they are of the highest quality possible, and also made in England. The first thing to do is to modify this fitting, because I don't need a screw thread on all of the three ends of it. I'm shortening one end of the T-piece, and then I'm going to drill down the centre of it and thread it quarter by 32 threads per inch to take a Stuart Models Displacement Lubricator. Most of the time I use Stuart Models Displacement Lubricators on Stuart Model steam engines. It's sort of traditional. They're also easy to set up and easy to use. But first of all, I need to make something where I can screw the lubricator into the end of, and here it is. This is not the best way to do this job really, it's just quick. The T-piece is held in the chuck by the union nut at one end of it, and it's accurate enough for the job I need it to do. After the turning operation, I don't want any sharp edges, so I remove the edge with a file, and now it looks like this. I think the original hole down the centre of this fitting is 5 30 seconds of an inch. I need to make this much bigger. Here I'm increasing the diameter of the hole, by using a 7 30 seconds of an inch twist drill and this hole is tapping size for quarter by 32 threads per inch which is what the thread is on the end of a Stuart Models displacement lubricator. The best place to find a quarter by 32 tap is in my box of quarter by 32 taps and here I'm threading the hole in the T-piece in the lathe but I'm rotating the chuck manually. Not unsurprisingly, by rotating the chuck in the opposite direction, the tap unscrews from the hole. That's it for the machining of the T-piece. The next thing I need to make is this. A flange to fit on the steam chest to admit the steam into the steam chest. I showed the making of this in part 48 of the series How to Build a Model Steam Engine, which is available, as I mentioned earlier, for my Patreon supporters only. Here are some clips from that episode which shows me processing this old gunmetal casting. I drilled the hole just as a guide, then I fitted the part in my three-jaw chuck and I faced across the front of the casting. Then I opened up the hole using three twist drills, the last one being 9 30 seconds of an inch, which is tapping size for 5 16 by 32 threads per inch. This is what it looks like with the thread down the middle. With the part mounted on a mandrel in the chuck, I machine the other side. Details about this special mandrel are in episode 48 of the series. Hopefully, this episode should function as some kind of an advert to try and persuade people to join Patreon, because without Patreon, there can be no videos at all. I'm 72 years old, but I still need to earn a living, so please bear this in mind when you watch my videos, Sign up to Patreon, it's not very expensive, and there are lots of extras. But please, do not sign up to the free option on Patreon. Anyone selecting free membership is automatically blocked. I just cannot do the sheer volume of work to make a video almost every day for nothing. After drilling the mounting holes in the flange, I used this as a guide to drill an extra hole in the steam chest. And why did I do this? All is revealed in the series itself. I tap the extra hole into the steam chest, and now I'm making some studs. For the smaller fittings, you don't get proper studs anymore in the kit. They're just pieces of studding. So what I do is put Loctite 603 on the end, and then screw a nut on. To speed up the curing of the Loctite 603, I'm using some very gentle heat. 
Not much at all, just enough to cure the Loctite. After this, when the Loctite had cured thoroughly, I pushed the pretend studs into the hole in the flange and tightened them into the steam chest. This, in my opinion, is much better than using bolts or screws. All I have to do now, to complete the job, is screw the modified T-piece into the flange. When I finally fit it, I'll use some Loctite 542, but not yet. And that's about it for this episode. On the 1st of January 2025, this series on Patreon currently has 48 highly detailed episodes, available to watch if you subscribe to Patreon. And that is it. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and once again, a Happy New Year. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.